Sa pagsulat ng linear equation, alam natin na pwede natin gamitin yung slope-intercept form para makabuo tayo ng equation ng isang linya. Ngayon naman, gagamitin naman natin ang slope-intercept form para makapag-graph ng mga equations or linear equation na ang forma ay y equals mx plus b. Now, alam natin na yung m is represented by the slope and b is represented by y-intercept sa equation y is equal to mx plus b. Now, mga halimbawa ng mga equations na ayon sa slope intercept form will be y equals 3x plus 2, y equals 1 half x minus 5, y equals 2x over 5 plus 1, at y equals negative 3 over 4x minus 6. Now, sa lesson natin today, matututunan natin kung paano i-graph ang mga linear equation in slope intercept form. Now, ito yung basic concept ng pag-graph ng linear equation na slope intercept form yung formation. Now, ang slope natin, alam natin na yun ay rise over run. So, kung meron tayong linya tulad nito, para makuha natin yung slope ng linya na to, meron tayong tinatawag na slope or pagkuha ng slope dito sa ating equation ng slope intercept form at ito yung representation ng slope niya. Rise over run. Kaya meron tayong linya na ganito yung forma. Now, paano ba ang pag-graph ng mga equations na slope intercept form. So, bigyan natin ng isang example yung uh, equation na merong slope intercept form na forma. Now, sa example number 1, let's graph y equals 2 thirds x plus 2. Now, yung equation na y equals 2 over 3 x plus 2 ay nasa formang slope intercept form kasi meron tayong slope at meron tayong y intercept. Now, yung ating slope na 2 over 3, it represents rise over run at yung 2, yun yung ating y intercept or kung saan yung ating linya na y equals 2 thirds x plus 2 ay mag intersect sa y axis. Now, ang unang-una natin gagawin sa pag-graph ng mga equation ng of the form y um, slope intercept form ay yung pag-graph ng ating y intercept. Since ang y intercept natin is positive 2, so ito yung positive 2, so ito yung unang-una natin ipaplot na point. Now, kapag naplot na natin yung point na to, alam natin dun sa geometry na kailangan natin ng two points para makabuo tayo ng isang linya. So yung second line or yung second point na hahanapin natin will be determined by the slope, which is 2 over 3. So rise over run, so ibig sabihin from positive 2 along the y-axis, magbibilang ka lang ng 2 units going up, 1, 2, and then 3 units going to the right, 1, 2, 3. At ito yung second point na kailangan natin para makapag-graph tayo ng isang linear equation. At ito yung linya or graph ng linear equation na y equal to 2 thirds x plus 2 gamit ang technique ng pag-graph using the slope intercept form. So, sa example number 2, kung kailangan natin i-graph si y equals negative 3 over 5x minus 3, tulad nung ginawa natin sa example number 1, ang unang step is to graph negative 3, which is our y-intercept. So, yung negative 3 will be down here along the y-axis. At since yung slope natin ay eh, negative slope, ang una nating gagawin is mag-count ng 3 units going down naman. So, you have 1, 2, 3 units going down, at saka 5 units to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ito yung second point na kailangan natin para makabuo tayo ng linya. So, yung graph ng equation natin will be this particular line right here. Now, isa sa mahalagang malaman nyo sa pag-graph ng linear equation ng slope-intercept form ay yung positive and negative slope. Kapag positive slope, ganito yung itsura ng line natin, pataas, at yung negative slope, pababa naman. Now, tandaan nyo rin na kapag ka magbibilang kayo ng units using rise over run, it's either you go up or you go down, tapos lagi kang magpupunta sa kanan. Hindi ka pwedeng pumunta sa kaliwa kasi mag-iiba yung formation ng inyong linya. So, tandaan nyo na lagi tayong pumupunta sa kanan at ang nag-iiba lang is yung units going up at going down depende sa sign ng inyong slope. Now, let's have more example of this particular example, gamit naman yung ating presentation. 
Now, dito sa example natin ito, kailangan daw natin i-graph C, y equals negative 3 over 5x plus 2. Now, syempre, kailangan muna natin tingnan is yung y-intercept, which is 2. So, we'll count 2 units along the y-axis. So, ito yung ating first point doon sa ating y equals negative 3 over 5x plus 2. Now, yung slope natin, which is negative 3 over 5, will give us the second point doon sa ating linear equation. So, ang gagawin natin, since we have a negative slope, we are going to go 3 units down kasi negative yung sign ng ating slope. At since 5 yung denominator, ibig sabihin, magbibilang tayo ng 5 units going to the right. Once again, hindi tayo pwedeng pumunta sa kabilang bahagi sa kaliwa, lagi lang tayong pupunta sa kanan kapag nag-graph tayo ng linear equation. Now, ito yung ating second point na gamit yung ating slope. At since meron na tayong dalawang points, pwede na natin i-graph yung ating linear equation. At ito yung graph ng ating linear equation na y equals negative 3 over 5x plus 2. Yan yung ating third example. Now, on our next example, kakaiba naman yung equation natin kasi yung ating equation is on the form ax plus by is equal to c. So, kailangan muna natin i-change yung ating equation na yan para makapag-graph tayo ng equation ng line using the slope-intercept form. So to do that, so we have 2x plus 3y is equal to 12. Kailangan muna natin i-isolate yung y doon sa ating equation. So yung ating first step is to get rid of 2x. So you subtract 2x on both sides, leaving you with 3y equals negative 2x plus 12. Now since yung y natin is still not by itself, kailangan lang natin siyang i-divide by 3 for all the terms. So now we'll have y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 4. So from standard form, which is ax plus by equal to c, now we have the slope intercept form of the function, which is y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 4. So pwede na uli natin i-graph yung ating function ngayon, gamit dun yung technique na ginamit natin kanina sa ating first three examples. So una natin kukunin is yung ating y-intercept, which is positive 4. So we'll count 4 units along the y-axis. Um, positive siya, kaya nandun siya sa taas. At kailangan naman natin gamitin yung slope, which is negative 2 thirds. So, ibig sabihin nun, kailangan natin bumaba ng 2 units kasi negative yung ating numerator. At yung ating 3, which is the denominator, ibig sabihin, pupunta naman tayo ng 3 units going to the right. So, we'll have 1, 2, 3, and we'll have that particular units going to the right. So, yan yung ating susunod na point. At nan ang ating graph ng linear equation mula sa standard form patungo sa slope-intercept form.